With Lumina being out, the question will always come, is it good in PvP? This probably is one of the most in-between answers, and I can only really compare it to something like Raytrix's Broadsword. By that I mean yes, it isn't a bad gun, but it's more that it has the potential to be good, rather than it being good on its own. I'll explain what that means in a bit, but first, let's just get into the stats of the gun and its exotic perk. The Luminous Exotic Perk is called Noble Rounds, and is activated much like the one on Thorn. Upon a kill, you'll be able to pick up a white orb that will give you the debuff Noble Rounds on the left side of the screen. However, in order to activate its real perks, you need to shoot your teammate without aiming in. This will immediately heal them quite substantially, while also giving you both a damage buff. While the increased damage is not like Momentum or on Ace, it is still substantial enough to allow for a 3 shot with only 2 crits and a body shot. This means that it does 81 to the head and 51 to the body. This buff lasts for 10 seconds, and the Noble Rounds perk lasts forever, so take as long as you want to heal your teammate. This perk is pretty solid and a very unique take on exotic perks, as this is the first one that allows us to become a sort of support player for our team. However, while it is very fun, it will definitely not beat out things like Ace if you're trying to just push. Not only do you need to kill someone to activate the damage, but you also need to run through the body to actually proc it. And even then, you need to actually hit a friendly player, so if you're the last one standing, it's literally useless. I do have to say though that it is very fun to use. I had a blast using it and especially healing my teammates as I do sort of naturally am a bit of a support player. Even though it isn't as good as Ace or Thorn, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be using it at all. Like I said, it is very fun to use and I will be taking it in quick play or if I'm just playing with my friends. However, at the same time, in my opinion, things like pinnacle weapons and exotics need to be good at their cores. Without the exotic perk, that needs to be activated. That is why I compared it to something like Raytrix's. Its pinnacle perk is really, really good, but its base gun still leaves a lot to be desired. This brings me to my biggest problem with the Lumina. The base stats are simply not something that can compete with other guns. It isn't like it's just a trash gun, it's just that it's literally a normal gun without the perks. This may seem fine at first, but with things like Ace, which is already good without Memento Mori, and with Thorn where the damage over time effect is built into it, Lumina just feels like a normal and underpowered weapon. The base stats are literally like any other 150 hand cannon. It does 68 to the head, allowing it to 3 shot but only at close range. It can fire very quickly, but with its large amount of recoil on console and controllers, I think very few people will use it over Not Forgotten or Luna's Howl. While I was using it, its rate of fire felt very nice, however the reload speed felt a little slower than Thorns, and its range felt a lot lower than other hand cannons. This brings me back to its original problem. The base stats are not good enough to constitute using it, and even if you get the needed kill to get the perk, it isn't something that comes immediately. You need to run up to the body in order to proc it, then shoot a teammate, if you have one, and only then will you have the damage buff. In conclusion, the gun feels much more like it has the potential to be good rather than it being good without its perk. And I can definitely see some people using it in comp, but it won't really be as effective as other guns. So if you are looking for a gun that will be as good as Thorn or Ace, Lumina is not the one. I may do a Rose review because I actually felt like that gun was much better than a lot of other 150 hand cannons, especially with its range masterwork, so look out for that. I really do want to reiterate though that it isn't something that I won't be using. It actually felt a lot more fun than a lot of other guns that I've used in the past, especially the ones that I've reviewed back in D1. If it was a really good gun, I would definitely use it more. I did watch Dado's video earlier and I can definitely agree with him that there's going to be a lot of community stuff around this gun. There's going to be challenges and things like that. So I mean, it is going to be, again, a very fun gun to use. But sadly, I really wish it was something more because it's so deep in the lore and it's kind of the first gun that us Guardians have made from an old lore type gun. So in the end, try to have a good time with this gun because that's really what it's gonna be used for. Especially look out for those videos where, you know, six people are running and everyone's healing each other. I think that'll be really cool to see. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.